Hey folks, Revolutionary Brewer back again, and of course we got another homebrew kit review. This time we're going to go with the Dutch Lager. This is uh, Mangrove Jack's version of um, Dutch Lager. Um, I brewed it in appropriately a uh, Heineken bottle. Uh, some of the bigger styles, uh, some of the bigger Dutch beers, you're looking at Heineken's probably the main one that we know over here in North America. Also Grolsch, uh, that's brewed over there as well. So that's a couple of the bigger styles. Will this beer turn out like that? I don't know. Well, let's get to it and uh, we'll see what we got. Little fizz on it doesn't seem to be overly uh, carbonated or anything, but let's give it a pour and we'll see what happens. Nice looking beer. Looks pretty good so far. Not much of a head on it. So there it is, little uh, lager style head, not very big, not much to that. Let's give it a taste and uh, I mean, we'll see what it comes out like. Yeah, it's actually uh, very similar to Heineken, uh, amazingly. Take a look at this. I th is it, it may be a little bit uh, darker than a Heineken, possibly just a little more uh, color to it, but the taste is amazingly similar. It's... <laughs> <laughs> it's incredibly similar, actually. This this tastes almost just like a Heineken. And uh, same thing, a little tiny lager head on it. Not much of a head at all. I didn't want, like, the lagers I try not to carbonate as much. Uh, more carbonation I like in some of the darker beers. But this is just, it's well carbonated. It's fairly well carbonated. You can probably see the bubbles in it. But the um, thing is, just not much of a head on it. Let's have another taste. Oh yeah, if you like Heineken, this is, it's almost spot on. I'm, I'm pretty surprised. That, that's pretty amazing, actually. Um, so I'll tell you how I made it. Uh, the old standard, yeah, pretty well. The one um, Mangrove Jack uh, Dutch Lager kit. Then we also used a pound and a half of the high malt glucose and a pound and a half of the uh, liquid malt extract. Topped it up to 20 liters. Just the old standard recipe. I find it works uh, great. Uh, this Dutch lager, I'm going to give it, I, I guess, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of four, or three and a half out of five, I should say. It's a, it's a great kit. It's... Um, it's just pretty much like a Heineken, and I like Heinekens. I don't love Heinekens. Uh, I mean, the kit is what it is. It's just the reason I'm giving it a 3 out of 5. is just personal preference. It, it, it's, a, it's like, I'm telling you guys, it's amazing how spot on it is with Heineken. And it, it comes out, it's a nice looking, a little bit darker than your standard lager. I'd say probably a little darker than a Heineken. Actually... I have a uh, book around here. Let me just grab it. It's a pretty handy little book I picked up. It's got all the different kinds of uh, beers of the world. I'm sure it's got Heineken in here. Just give me a minute. Um, we'll give it a little uh, look and see how it actually compares because um, it's spot on. Like I said, if you're a Heineken fan, go out and get one of these kits. It's not going to let you down. It's pretty well spot on. I've never seen actually one of the kits so spot on. Uh, actually, wait till you look at the color. Uh, it's hard to see because of the light. There's the color in the Heineken, and there's the color on the beer. So yeah, this is a little darker, a little darker than the Heineken. But uh, taste-wise, it's pretty well you know, spot on there. So anyways, like I said, a solid three and a half out of five. This, if you, if you like Heineken, this is a five out of five. Just, I mean, it's unbelievable that I've never had uh, a kid actually come so close to imitating a commercial beer. Some of them are somewhat similar, but this is, it's spot on. 
anyways, uh, like I said, three and a half out of five. Uh, these mangrove jack kits are actually... They started out as Brewcraft, they went to mangrove jack can kits, and now they got a new new thing out. It's actually um, kits that are in a bag instead of the can. I picked up a couple of them because there was a sale up the road, so we'll be trying them down the road somewhere. We'll see how it goes. It seems like mangrove jack can't quite figure out exactly what they want to do, but that, that's part of it. They're just going through the growing pains or whatever. Anyways, uh, three and a half out of five, solid as can be. Um, stay tuned, more brew reviews coming up. Uh, thanks for tuning in and cheers.